Hey guys, 6978 today, we're showing you how to create your armor set in Minecraft. Now it's been a while since I've done an episode, but I'm back now and I'll be doing quite a few episodes now. And hopefully continuously in like a regular weekly pattern. So yeah, we'll be creating an armor set. So that's helmet, chest, legs, boots. Show you how to do the texture for those that you have in your hand. How to make it to render on your body when you wear them. And editing this file called NM Armor Material, which will allow you to like change the qualities of your armor. So now we're in 1.4.7 Minecraft. All the coding will be exactly the same as it was for 1.4.6. The only difference that 1.4.7 had was one single class, plus a few t minor tweaks, but besides that, it was only one class that was really changed in the update. But anyway, uh, in our modern score class, which we should have set up previously um, to learn how to do that, watch my, one of my previous tutorials, uh, in this class, we're going to be declaring our individual pieces of armor so I'll be creating snow armor for this example and um, what we want to do is in between the string get version void load things the constructors you want to first declare our helmet so to do that we type public static final item and then we call it something like snow helmet because that fits equals and then we put new and what it's going to be new of is something called item armor so this is a class which all armor um, extends off and you put some brackets and inside here you want to put uh, I think it's four things yeah four things first things ID we'll give it something that's not going to be used in Minecraft for a while which is ID a thousand the next thing is uh, I believe the enum armature so if you saw that class at the introduction enum armature we're going to create our own enum as we did in the tool set but for tool material so in this enum armature we just type here enum armor material dot and call it something like snow. It's going to show up as an error, but we'll be just because we haven't created it, we'll be creating that later. We'll put a comma again, and now we're going to put uh, something called a render index, which I'll explain. Actually, I'll explain right now. It's like the name give to it. You know, inside Minecraft Jar, there's a folder called Armor. Inside there, there's the textures, and you can see there's a texture underscore one and texture underscore two. Well, this is basically the render index is a name before the underscore. So that auto generates the underscore one underscore two. It reads that, but the first bit you have to give it, tell it what that's going to be. So we put here mod loader dot add armor, and it's a string variable. So we put speech marks, and we put in here what we're going to call it. So I'm going to call the class snow, um, texture sorry snow. So it's going to be snow underscore one and snow underscore two for the skin. This so this texture the skin of the look of it when it's put on you. So be sure that's case sensitive. So if you put snow with capital S, it must be capital S when you create the texture. But I'll explain about the textures later on. Um, and then after that, we put another comma and we put something called I think it's the armor type or I don't know what the word is, but it's basically what kind of armor is it? It's a helmet, chest, legs, or boots. We've created a helmet, which is the first number, which is zero. So we put zero there to say this is a helmet. And then afterwards, we put obviously set icon index to give it a texture mod loader dot add override um, put speech marks and say what we're going to override GUI slash items dot png comma after that and in more speech marks what we're going to override it with it's going to have textures in a folder called snow and inside that folder there's going to be a texture called helmet dot png and then at the very end we put dot set item name and give it something like snow helmet inside speech marks you'd have to do a to create a method because inside item armor that's already been set so that's our helmet declared. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this line, paste it, and just tweak it for a chest. So instead of item snow helmet, put snow chest. Put the ID up by one. Keep the enum the same. Keep the um, render X the same. And this we need to put to one. So the armor type is number one, which is a chest plate. Texture, I'm going to create a texture called uh, chest.png inside the folder called snow and then obviously item name chest and I'm going to copy this line twice more and do it once for the legs which will be the item armor type to two and then once for the boots and armor type would be three so as you can see I've done that now I've snow legs no boots put the IDs up by one each time put for the legs uh, the armor type is two and for the boots armor type is three change the texture to what the texture name will actually be and change this dot set item name method so that's all of our armor declared. So now we're going to add the 
uh, inventory names, I'll put inside the void load constructor mod loader dot add name and we change var zero for one of these one of these variables at the top, so I'll put snow helmet and then var one put speech marks there and put the name it's gonna be in your inventory, so I'll put snow space helmet. And we're just going to copy and paste that three more times so there's four in total and change that for each of these variables and change that accordingly. So as you can see I've just done that. So change the variable for each of these and change it for snow chest to snow chest plate, for legs to snow legs and for boots to snow boots. The next thing I'm going to do is the recipe, so how we're going to acquire these. So I'm going to make all of these armor pieces out of snowballs and I'm just going to show you each individual um, uh, shape of the recipe in order to for each of these to work. So first we do the helmet. So obviously put mod loader dot add recipe. Uh, change the file zero to new item stack and put brackets and say what we're going to craft in. Snow helmet. That's the variable name. Comma and then how many we're going to get from it. One. And then there's already been a comma generated. And in var one we need to change to new object. And put square brackets after it. And we enter just before the s uh, normal bracket and put a curly one after the new object and then the closing one inside the um, this normal bracket and now we're going to do the helmet so for the helmet shape obviously we've got the top line the speech marks it's the, the whole top line filled with xxx which will be t saying what's going to be in a, in a minute comma and then the second line is going to be an x on the left nothing in the middle and an x on the right and we won't need a third line so it's just three along the top and then two in underneath it with this middle gap uh, completely empty. Comma again, and we put com uh, apostrophe. Sorry, put that exact letter used here. Comma again, and say what well, that's going to be. We're going to put item dot snowball. So we're going to have three snowballs along the top, and then below that we have one on the left and one on the right to make our snow helmet. And we end this line with a semicolon. So now what we're going to do is just going to copy and paste this line, change snow helmet after the item stack bit to snow chest, and then we're going to change obviously the shape of the recipe. Snow chest is the whole thing filled up except for the top line, in the middle bit of the top line. So we'll represent that by going x space x, and then comma, and then the next two s parts of speech marks are just completely filled with the letter x, which will be re representing our snowball. Again, we copy this line again. Uh, co uh, change that variable to snow legs there, and then we're going to change the recipe again here, which is uh, three along the top, comma, and then we do uh, one on the left, nothing in the middle, one on the right, comma, and then we do that once again on the bottom. So that's the shape you do for the legs. For the last time, we're going to copy this. Uh, change, I just do that there uh, for stylizing, it doesn't affect the code at all. Anyway, we're going to change the variable to snow boots, and boots I think are the easiest recipe because it's just x space x twice. So x space x, and the next line's x space x. So that's our uh, mod score class file finished, ready for us to go into NMR material to create this snow enum. So I've come to this NMR material class and you can see there's already five um, created cloth which is um, leather armor, chain which is uh, chain armor, iron for iron armor, gold for gold armor and diamond for diamond armor. So we're going to create our own NM for our snow armor. So after diamond we just take off the semicolon and put a normal comma, enter and then we write our variable name which was snow here, all case sensitive. And brackets and semicolon just to end that line. So now we're going to fill this uh, set of brackets with this information for our enum. So the first thing, as you can see where it says here, private enum material, it's got three ints. So there's three ints we need to put in here. The first one to par three and we can see that's the max damage factor. Now the actual definition is holds the maximum damage factor. Each piece multiplied by its own value of the material. This is the item damage, how much it can absorb before it breaks. Now I don't think this applies to like the amount of hearts of damage deducted. It probably does, but it doesn't make sense how 33 because that number makes no sense to me really. But the way I do it is I compare it to the other. So if I want it more like damage reducing, then 
like leather um ch yeah leather but less than chain and i put it about 10 but i'm going to make it the same as leather so 5 the next thing part 4 is an array uh and that's an array of the damage reduction amount array which is dumbed down simplified basically is the you know when you put your helmet in or something and like the bar the armor bar fills up this is the amount of halves it fills up by for each thing so the first number being helmet second chest legs and then boots so we have to put after our f number we just put for the max damage factor we put comma and then we put new int square brackets and then we put two curly brackets and inside those curly brackets we put our array so we say the first one could be the same as uh, leather the next thing could also be the same but then the legs could be the same as iron five so that makes nine and we can make the last one the same as uh, diamond so we can see that if we add all this together that's eight eleven twelve so that's six full um, bars if you wouldn't call them bars of armor this will give if the full sets added or it's half one for the helmet one and a half for the chest, two and a half for the legs, and one and a half for the boots. The very last thing after that, if you put a comma, is the easiest one. It's the enchantability. It's the highest amount of enchantability you can give your armor. So we just put that to 15 for the sake of it. So that's our NM armor material class and our whole code finished. So now I'm going to show you the textures, what to call them, and where to put them. So first texture was the helmet I just got the diamond helmet and recolored it to a white color I called it helmet.png it says PSD here but I saved it as .png same for the chest just got the diamond one and recolored it same for legs and boots now you know I was on about snow and score one and snow and score two these are the skins you'll find inside Microsoft.jar in the folder armor you'll find ones for each different set of armor you need to get both and then you need to edit it however I'd leave the things as they are the shapes of the colors and just recolor them unless you're completely experienced with these if you're not I wouldn't touch them until you learn how to like what what each thing is but to say it really simple this holds the helmet the boots and the chest and then this one's for the legs um but if you want to know more about that I'd say google it or something or if there's high demand I'll explain it in a video but anyway, I just recolored it, and I called one first one to snow and score one, which is the one with the helmet, chest, and leg boots, and then the one with the legs. I called that snow and score two. And bear in mind, I called it snow with a capital S, because in the code, I put the mod load at armor, the render index to snow with a capital S. So be sure that that matches what you've called them here, and you've got one as underscore one with the helmet, chest, and legs, and the one underscore two, which is the legs. So I saved them here. In the Eclipse client bin folder of MCP, so we got the boots, chest, helmet, legs, and then snow and score one, snow and score two. Now for these, I said that in the code that each one would be in a folder called snow. So we're going to create our folder, new folder, call it snow or lowercase, and we're going to drag those textures into there. And then for the second thing, the snow and score one, snow and score two, for every single arm you ever make, if you put models dot add armor in here, whatever render X you put here. The texture will always have to go inside the folder called armor. So you don't create a new folder for it. It's the existing folder in Microsoft.jar called armor. That's where you put them. But obviously, we don't have one here. So we create it. But when we put armor here, all case sensitive or low case, drag those in. When we test, it will overwrite the current folder with this. It won't come over it, so it will merge. So it will merge them as if you've installed the game into the game. But when you do, let's say, make a mod and put the files into install like this, and you drag them into Microsoft.jar to install them, it will merge them. So just put a folder called armor, put our snow and score one, snow and score two thing in there, and in the snow folder, we've got our item textures. So now I'm going to test this mod to show you that it works. So I've got a crafter bench here with some snowballs. Uh, first, we're going to create a helmet like that. So have a snow helmet. Next, we're going to create an our chest plate, which is over filled but the top middle. See that there. Next thing is the legs, like so. And lastly, we have the boots, like that. So now I'm going to put them on by either dragging them there, or we can use a quick shift method by holding shift. 
So let's see, it's filled up our armor by six. And now we're going to test the damage versus a zombie. So the zombie's going to attack me. And the hot's gone down by one. So a uh, pretty decent pace, similar to iron armor. So that shows us that our mod works. Uh, thanks for watching this episode of Minecraft Modded Guide. Hopefully episode six will be straight after this one. Well, not straight after, about a week or a week and a half after. Uh, so hopefully we do more of a like weekly pattern or a fortnight pattern. Uh, all the files and textures in this tutorial will be available for you to download. There'll be a link in the description. Um, if you like this video, please like it. If you've got any more questions, put in the comment section or inbox me on um, YouTube. And please subscribe to my channel as that supports me. And you'll also get updates on the next Microsoft Modern Guide episode. And if you subscribe to the show, Microsoft Modern Guide, you'll only get the updates for that and not like my gaming videos. So if you don't watch my gaming and only this, then subscribe to the show as opposed to the channel. But if you want to know everything I do, like all the videos I put on, then subscribe to my actual channel. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys next video.